Hey there! You've heard it since you were younger. Too many eggs are bad for you. Did you know that an estimated 40% of adults in the US have high cholesterol? That's over 94 million people. As you get older, your cholesterol level is definitely something you need to consider. Even if it isn't all that bad, high cholesterol has been linked to heart disease. Let's talk about 11 foods that are increasing your cholesterol. How many eggs should I have in a serving? You mean I have to cut sardines? Is there such a thing as good cholesterol? We're talking all that and more. Number one, sardines. To all you fish enthusiasts, this may come as a rude awakening. First, let's get it out of the way. When it comes to nutrients, sardines are one heck of a rich source. They're high in iron, selenium, phosphorus, magnesium, and vitamin E. But they also carry a rather large amount of cholesterol. The average person is recommended no more than 300 milligrams of cholesterol per day. A three ounce serving of sardines contains 121 milligrams. Compare that to three ounces of boneless tuna, which carries just 39 milligrams of cholesterol. And is another healthy source of nutrients, including omega-3 fatty acids, protein, and vitamin D. Number two, eggs. When people think cholesterol, the image of an egg is probably the first thing that pops into their heads. If we're being honest, it's no wonder. One large egg contains as much as 212 milligrams. But is it really all that bad? Cholesterol is an essential part of each of your cell's membranes. It's also essential to estrogen, testosterone, and cortisol. With that being said, egg's cholesterol is located within the yolk. If you happen to be watching your cholesterol level, try your best to eat egg whites only. Mixed with iodine, folate, and vitamins A, B, and D, eggs are extremely beneficial to your health. If a full-grown, healthy adult is to eat three eggs in a day, it is unlikely that the cholesterol will cause any damage to the heart. Number three, butter. Just a heads up, this list is going pretty hard on the dairy products. To all you milk junkies, you've already been warned. Butter is heavy in fat, and it's a major culprit in both weight gain and heart disease. Did you know that just a single tablespoon contains 31 grams of cholesterol and 7.5 grams of saturated fat? Saturated fat can increase your cholesterol level. The average adult is recommended no more than 13 grams of saturated fat per day. Anyone who's eaten a big breakfast would know that it's easy to lose track of how much butter you've had. A couple of tablespoons could put you over the recommended daily intake. If you have high cholesterol, it may be wise to watch just how much butter you're eating or try to avoid butter entirely. Number four, hot dogs. If you consume your fair share of junk food, you may want to take note. Hot dogs are loaded with not only cholesterol, but saturated fats and sodium as well. If we're going to break it down, one hot dog contains about 390 milligrams of sodium and four grams of saturated fat that can cause your cholesterol levels to skyrocket. You may want to beware the next time you head out to the ball game. Speaking of junk food, if you're looking for ways to get in shape, check out our clip on nine proven ways to flatten your stomach. While you're scouting for new bestie videos, click on nine foods that are destroying your unhealthy kidneys. Number five, bacon. I'm just ruining all the fun for you, aren't I? Come on, if you're unaware that bacon isn't the healthiest choice, I'm not really sure what to tell you. Bacon carries around 28% of protein. While it's okay to have it every once in a while, it's easy to overdo your quantity of consumption. When it comes to saturated fats, bacon can be your heart's worst nightmare. Did you know that 40% of bacon is comprised of saturated fats? As for cholesterol, just one slice measures up to six milligrams of cholesterol. I'm not sure about you, but when it comes to Sunday breakfast, one measly slice isn't going to tide me over. If you consume five or six slices in a serving, that's about 36 milligrams of cholesterol, 12% of your daily intake. While it may not seem like the end of the world, Try adding eggs to the mix. 
Remember how one large egg can contain 212 milligrams? Since bacon is usually eaten with a side of eggs, your cholesterol can skyrocket. Number six, ice cream. Oh, the humanity. Brace yourself, because I'm about to ruin one of your favorite summer treats. You ready for this? A single cup of ice cream can contain 44% of your daily saturated fat intake. It also includes about 53 milligrams of cholesterol. That's right. This simple outdoor snack eaten between lunch and dinner carries 18% of your daily cholesterol intake. Let's put it into perspective for a second. There's more saturated fat in one cup of ice cream than there is in a whole hamburger. Don't feel guilty, we all eat ice cream. I mean, at least it would seem that way. Did you know that in 2007, over 1.5 billion gallons of ice cream were produced in the US alone? Fast forward over a decade and not much has changed. Ice cream is still currently being stored in an estimated 90% of American households. Number seven, cheese. If you happen to be a fan of cheese dogs or bacon with a cheese omelet, please stand by for this startling info. Two of the most popular types of cheese are loaded with cholesterol. A single cup of cheddar is measured at around 131 milligrams of cholesterol. A single cup of Swiss cheese contains about 123, but it doesn't end there. Cheese such as American, mozzarella, and Parmesan are also not far behind. While it's a given at this point that you should be watching your cholesterol, cheese, much like eggs, can be healthy when eaten in moderation. It's a rich source of protein, calcium, zinc, and vitamin A. These nutrients can help strengthen your bones and teeth. Number eight, donuts. Before you line up at the coffee shop for your morning snack, consider this. The average donut carries 11% of your daily intake of saturated fats, not to mention 10 milligrams of cholesterol. If you make that donut glazed, you're looking at an extra four milligrams. Heaven forbid that you eat more than one donut for breakfast, right? This is one of the unhealthiest ways to start your day. Add a hot dog and a cup of ice cream and your body won't be thanking you later. Number nine, chicken wings. Keeping with the theme of ruining your weekend meals, chicken wings are also especially high on the cholesterol. What makes it worse is how easy it is to lose track of how many you've eaten. Just one chicken wing is an estimated 27 milligrams. Have you ever gone for the discount wing night at your local bar? Their prices are definitely hypnotizing. So hypnotizing, in fact, you'll eat two pounds worth of chicken wings in a single sitting. Say two pounds contains 20 wings. You could be consuming as much as 540 milligrams of cholesterol. Add beer and french fries to the mix, and you've created a recipe for disaster. At least, that's how your heart considers it. Number 10, crabs. It's been a while since we've seen seafood on the list. Keep in mind, unless you live close to the ocean, the appearance of crab on your plate is probably a rare one. But just in case you've been catching up on your shellfish consumption, here's a quick run through. One medium crab, adds up to about 96 milligrams of cholesterol. Number 11, caviar. No, this isn't a joke. If you happen to find yourself at a fine dining establishment, this is maybe something you'd like to know. This also continues the topic of seafood. Caviar is essentially fish eggs. While this may seem a little unpleasant to many of us, it's also seen as a delicacy to many others. Before you put it on a cracker and try it yourself, you need to know that a single tablespoon carries around 94 milligrams of cholesterol. So, happy dining to you and yours. Are you concerned about your cholesterol? Would you be willing to give up any of these delicious foods? Let us know in the comment section. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait, what kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead. Choose the left or right video and enjoy.